Hey guys, so this is me doing a wee experiment today because I've, I've heard about this a while back and I've been wanting to have a go. I've gathered up about 10 ivy leaves, only a small amount because I didn't want to, I haven't tried this before, I didn't want to make it en masse in case it doesn't work. <laughs> so I'm going to make some laundry detergent. This will be interesting, I'll see if it works. Now, I've heard of two different ways of cleaning your clothes with ivy. One is literally just shredding up the leaves, putting them in a laundry bag or even just a sock or something might do the trick or a muslin cloth and putting it straight in, fresh leaves, with your washing. I'm not sure what quantity to use, but apparently that works. Um, the one I'm more interested in is boiling them up and actually making a liquid to put in your your soap dispenser. So I'm going to shred these up and put them in a little saucepan. Apparently some people can be quite sensitive to ivy leaves so if you if you have really sensitive skin then it might pay to wear gloves to do this. For this amount of leaves I am going to use about a cup of water. I'm going to put that on the stove top and bring it to a simmer. I'm gonna put the lid on, otherwise it'll just dissolve to nothing because there's not much there. <laughs> and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Okay, so it's now the next day because I had to let that to cool down completely and by the time I had, um, it was a bit late to be hanging washing out. So, what does it smell like? It smells almost like, <laughs> it smells almost like secondhand cigarette smoke. Is that normal? <laughs> It doesn't smell like something I want to wash my clothes in, but I'm gonna, for science. They, they reckon that you drain this out through like a sieve or a muslin cloth or anything, so I'm just gonna use a sieve. About three quarters of a cup for one load of washing, so I'll just use that, see how it goes. Um, now when it comes to, of course you can add fabric softener to make it nice and smelly. This is not actually wine, this is in fact apple cider vinegar. Some stuff that I made myself. Normally, instead of fabric softener, um, I actually use white vinegar. So, I'm actually out of white vinegar. So, I'm going to go completely homemade today. Use the uh, the ivy juice extract, whatever you call it, and some homemade apple cider vinegar in the fabric softener. Vinegar is very good for your washing machine, by the way. And um, we'll see how we go. I'm actually just going to get an old cloth. I know it's already grubby, it's got a lot of stains on it, but it's one that I don't care about too much. Tomato sauce it. Because you know, you've got to have a... Uh... I'll rub that in a bit. Because that's what kids do, isn't it? They just, you know, rub it in. You can't get it off, just rub it in and then mum might not notice it's there. So, be interesting. See if those blobbies come out. <laughs> so it's full load of washing. So let's tip the uh, ivy juice in there. All right, the time of truth. <laughs> it doesn't smell offensive. It doesn't smell of anything, so it's bonus. That, uh, I'm not sure where that tomato sauce, oh it might have been there. I can't see where that tomato sauce was, so that seems to have gotten that out. I'll do the sniff test on one of Clint's work shirts. <laughs> I mean, it, it all seems clean. I'm just going to hang all this out, give it a dry and um, give you my final consensus. Alright, so Conclusion. Is the washing clean? Yep, it's clean. <laughs> Does it smell alright? It literally smells of nothing. So, I mean, did it do its job? Yes, it did. It did its job. So, you know, I'm happy with that. Um, would I do that again? Probably not, unless I was really, really stuck. Um, I tend to get the big bulk boxes of washing powder from the warehouse. They're $10 and they last a good six months. If you use a bit uh, a bit less than what's on the instructions, which you easily can. So, you know, washing powder is not a big expense for me. But it was just interesting to know that this works. 
If you want your clothes to smell pretty, you can always add fabric softener that's got scent, or you could just add some essential oils. Apparently it's pretty easy just to add some essential oils in with your white vinegar, or um, I don't know, soak some orange peels in your white vinegar for a bit before you tip it in, minus the orange peels. Um, but yeah, if th there's plenty of ways of making it smell nice, but at the end of the day, it's it's washing, it, it smells clean, you know, it smells like clean clothes, it smells of nothing. So, that's fine. Hit like, leave a comment down below, let me know if you've tried this, or any other methods you might have when it comes to cleaning, or, you know, saving a bit of money. And, um, yeah, we'll catch you next week. Bye.